This is a practice tune video for a tune called Get Low. It has an A part and a B part. It is written in the key of E minor. It is not difficult to play, uh, but the secret to this tune is observing the syncopation, which gives it a drive that is kind of fun to play, especially if you have some percussive players with you. It starts below the D marker on the B and it goes up inside. The entire tune is played on the right side of the treble bridge. And the A part um, repeats a rhythmic pattern uh, that for the first three measures are just almost exactly the same. So let me play it for you and then we'll break it down. That tune is sometimes played at various tempos depending on the group you are playing with. Some people play it really fast, other people play it um, slower. Um, it's up to the feel of the group. So let's break it down. Uh, the fourth, uh, it's a fourth beat pickup with eighth notes, starting on the B. I'm going to count out how the rhythm goes for you. So it's four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three. That's the whole first half of the A part. Let's do that one more time. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three. Okay, now we're going to move on to the second half of the A part. Again, the four, uh, quarter note, quarter eighth note pickups. But instead of going down, we're going to take the eighth note pattern going up. So it's... Let's try that again, that little sequence. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. Okay? Now let's finish the A part. It's uh, four counts of eighth notes that are going to lead us back to the E minor. So, okay. Um, it starts with the B. Go up to the C and then march all the way down to the E. Let's do that again. B, come down one. Go back to the B, up one to the C, and march down to the E. All right, let's try the A part all together. And then it repeats. Let's break, uh, let's work on the B part now. Again, you're on this side of the treble bridge and you start on the G. It's eighth and I'll pick up to the um, B part. 
That's a two count note, three, four, now eighth notes, uh, sequence coming down. Up to the B and come back down and go low, all the way down to the D. Your right hammer is free and you hit the B again up here. That's the first half of the B part. The, that last measure is the same as the first measure of the B part. Then it starts again. That same, you've played that same measure three times in the B part, and again it does an eighth note pattern down to the D. A, back up to the B, and then come down. And then it ends like, almost like the, well, like the beginning of the A part. One and two and three and four and one. So let's do the B part again. We're going to eighth note lead in. One, hold two counts. Three, four, eighth notes coming down. Two counts. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three. All right, let's play it all the way through, observing the, um, playing it slowly, observing the repeats. If you're right or left-handed, you can decide which way you want to lead. It doesn't really matter in this tune because you're not crossing over or doing anything. Uh, you don't have any bizarre notes in other places on, on the instrument. Have fun. Let's play it one more time, just a little bit faster.
have a good time with it. <laughs>